Well, the pioneer of progress in sportsmanship and athletics is a master of using his experiences as metaphors for life. Here is Adam Mikulich with a man who would truly like to bring adventure back to the conversation at the dinner table. My first adventure was in the tree in my backyard and first reaching that first limb and pulling myself up and then starting to climb the tree as I got a little older and having a fork and having to make decisions and I got my foot jammed in the, in the uh, tree as the wind was blowing and I had to trust my grip over my fear of falling. And that was a great adventure. I'd love to meet the teenage version of Martin Fry, growing up in New Jersey, with a love of water and a lack of mountain terrain. I've thrown up in every ocean of the, <laughs> of the world. I guess he's sick really easy. I do but too. The man who came to Utah in 2004 was hired directly by Governor John M. Huntsman to lay the groundwork for a now successful economic development plan. Martin caught the adventure bug that we all share in Utah, and he has since scaled the seven summits sailed the seven seas, an accolade that according to Guinness is his alone. Everything I've done has sort of been calculated and I've stayed within my safety zone or my uh, sense of comfort in terms of uh, risk and promised my wife in order to be able to go do these things that I would retreat rather than advance when it didn't feel right and this always to come back next Everest. year and try again. This is Denali. Uh, that's Everest. Martin was on Everest for um, approximately 52 days. The phone calls weren't always that great. In fact, one time he had a really bad day and had um, climbed all the way to Camp 4, and they had to turn around and come back because they were caught in a storm. And he came all, back, all the way back down to, to base camp, and he called me, and he was pretty upset and pretty rattled. And I said, you know, let's get your bearings. Let's regroup and watch a movie and don't think about climbing for about 24 hours. And that's where the trust comes into play. And that's where the trust comes into play. Howdy, so good to see you. So what's left to do when the view from the top has been so spectacular, you've quenched your own thirst and perhaps you've kept it to yourself. In Martin's case, he's trying to nab the attention of a generation that's become overwhelmed by mobile devices and social media to remind them that nature is there and to venture out through a program called Summit Journeys. And they're doing their uh, adventure here, learning how to climb and then rappel down. We're engaging them in a way that's really good, it's really fun, and they are learning patience. They're learning that if they fail once, they can get up and do it again. If it's scary and they keep going, their feet are gonna be back on the ground eventually. Entertainment is great, it's fun, but adventure is kind of gone by the wayside for a lot of people. And adventure teaches you skills that entertainment doesn't. Um, you don't grow from entertainment. You grow from experience, testing yourself, finding that you can do hard things. Kids can sign up at ventureout.org slash summit journeys and uh, get uh, to our program.